Hello there guys and welcome to our 42nd C++ tutorial. In this tutorial we're gonna go ahead and uh, basically uh, calculate or write the, some code to, that will be calculating the Fibonacci sequence of a, of a term, uh, of an end term specified by the user. So if you guys didn't watch our previous tutorial, guys go ahead and watch those and uh, please also um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and also rate all the videos, all the other videos guys and leave comments, it truly gives me a lot of feedback on the on the basis basically if you guys do like my videos or not so and and also thank you for watching this tutorial so let's go ahead and get started by typing our code here let's include the IO stream and using namespace namespace standard uh, and then let's go inside of our main here and let me put the return zero statement just so we can have it in there so we don't forget about it and let's go ahead and begin we're gonna define a constant integer here and and this is gonna be the number of terms we can store for the up to 100 terms that's how much I want my rate this this is the end term basically this that's the maximum um, number that I want to calculate the sequence up to and let's have an integer here called for Fibonacci and then sec for sequence and let's set that equal we want it to be up to 100 and we also want to predefine the first two elements in the sequence the reason of this is because in the Fibonacci sequence the um, the first two terms the basically the Fibonacci sequence of 0 and 1 are also, are also predefined are defined so next we're going to have an input called user input where the user will specify the term he wishes the sequence he wishes to determine the sequence up to let's ask the user to enter the end term uh, you enter the end term you wish to determine the Fibonacci up to so you want the term there this is just a random mess I mean you guys can write your own um, display the user there I mean that's just an example and let me just um, store that in, in the user input and also let's do some checking here just to make sure that the user doesn't um, so we don't want the sequence so let's start we don't want the sequence to be um, negative so let's make sure that the user input is not negative that means it's not less than zero if it is less than zero then we want to print out just uh, um, the n term must be a positive integer just so we let the user know and also let's put an n line here next let's type an else if here and let's also check that the user input does not exceed our array um, size here which is we can only store up to 100 elements so let's make sure this is not greater than 100 so if this is greater than 100 what we want we want to tell the user make sure or let's say the n term must be between uh, 0 to 100 alright now let's go have an another else if here let's check if the user input it's equal the Fibonacci sequence of 0 that means if the user inputs um, in our case here if the u if the user inputs I mm, forgot a semicolon here that let's make sure if the user input zero which if Fibonacci sequence uh, element zero is zero so the user input zero that means that the sequence um, will be just zero because that's already predefined so let's just print that out so let's say the Fibonacci sequence is and let's print out and 
hid sequence and is zero there. Now let's put an end line. And also let's do an else if for the user input user input here and mix check if it equals since we have both so these are kind of like our base cases so we're basically checking since we have the base case already predefined we, we want to just display the mod so if the user puts one then the sequence will just be uh, the Fibonacci the, the two elements located in our so let me just so it will be our first Fibonacci um, sequence uh, our element here in our sequence it will be 0 and 1 that will be our if the user inputs 1 then our sequence will be 0 1 so also here we want to put feed sequence and then put one. And also to make this look a little, let's put commas in between the two, just so make the output look a little bit neater. And also in our else here, this is where our majority, this pretty much the calculation will be happening for calculating the anything greater than our so the end term for which is greater than our base cases and is not negative and is not greater than 100. So let's have an i and ti, and we're going to set i equal to 2. The reason for that is because we already have i0 and i1 predefined, in, and that's predefined in the in the sequence definition. And also here, i must be less than or equal to the user input. And this here, input, and let's increment i each time we iterate the loop. Simply in our loop here, we want we will have our sequence, which is in our array here, set that equal to i, which i is 2, and then that will be equal to, this is the sequence definition, uh, the formula there, so that is the sequence of the previous element, which is minus 1, plus the feed of i minus 2. Alright. This is here in this for loop we're basically cal calculating our um, our Fibonacci sequence. And now let's put a C out here, and let's put an N line just to make it a little bit more organized. And let's have another for loop here. And in this for loop, well actually let's print out another C out statement here. And this C out statement, let's say um, the Fibonacci sequence. Uh, sequence is and let's put an end line and also let's put another end line just to make it look a little bit neater and then we want to print out the sequence that we will calculate so let's with the, so then we want to print out the sequence which we calculated using the um, definition here of the of the form of the, the, the definition of the sequence which is our formula here let's set i equals to 0 because we want to display everything, we want to display our base cases up to the term that the user specified so j must be less than or equal to the user input user input and j plus plus Sorry. j plus plus and let's basically print out the Fibonacci the Fibonacci sequence here of j and to make it look a little neater guys here, let's also put commas between them and let's, mm, let's end it there and let's put an end line here to look our output a little neater alright, so we calculated, so here we're up, up in our first for loop here we're calculating the Fibonacci sequence using the formula of Fibonacci's uh, definition Remember again, uh, our predefined values here for uh, for our the, for the first terms are predefined in the sequence definition. Here we're basically doing some checks, make sure the number is not negative, and make sure the number does not exceed 100 because that would cause an overflow in our array. And make sure here, so if the user inputs zero, we are, that's a predefined. So um, and that's already predefined in the sequence definition. We print it out. Same applies to the first two number if the user enters one. And inside of our else um, case here is basically where everything is happening, where both of our for loops are, at, are, are, are occurring. And that's where here we're calculating starting at i is equal. So the number here, the term, uh, this formula will, uh, will apply to um, a term which is greater than or equal to 2. 
and then here we'll just print out some lines and um, a message saying that the sequence is the following that we calculated so the sequence is then in the second for loop we're just printing out the sequence with which we calculated up here and then we're printing out a bank, uh, blank line and we're returning zero so let's go ahead and build this and check our cases and the output if it's correct now. alright so let's put a negative number here See, so we, we're telling the user that the enter must be positive that is correct. Let's enter a number that exceeds 100. So let me put 101 here. And then we tell the user that then the enter must be between 0 and 100. And also, uh, let's put zeros. Let's uh, this is a predefined sequence, so the sequence should be just 0, which we do if the sequence is 0. We're printing that out. Let's check 1. In our case, if we put 1, the sequence should be 0, 1, which are already the two predefined terms. We do get 0 and 1. Now let's go ahead and check for uh, basically for a um, sequence greater than 2. So let's try, let's try I guess uh, 8 or so. And here we get the sequence. The sequence uh, of up to the n, uh, n equals 8, which is our uh, term here, is 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21. And if you guys, you can go ahead and check that online if you guys, uh, if you guys wish. And let's try a greater one. Let's try up to 15 or so. So this is our Fibonacci sequence up to the n equals 15. Alright guys, so this was a tutorial on uh, basically the t calculating the Fibonacci sequence. You can also, uh, you know, um, write this in a different way, basically using functional to functions and so on to make, or you can write, a, you can define a class to do this. That, w that makes it look a lot neater and basically uh, more organized and easier to debug and so on if you run into problems. But this is a simple way to do it and hope you guys did like this tutorial uh, and and if you didn't watch my other tutorials guys go ahead and watch this as well and thank you for watching this tutorial guys and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and there will be uh, more tutorials coming up very soon so thank you for watching and stick around for more guys